Uh, my name's Hugh Dunn. I'm the director of the South Coast Development Partnership. That's a regional economic development organization at the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth. So I'm here at Blue Tech Week to uh, learn more about different Blue Tech clusters that, uh, that convene here and, and share best practices. Uh, at UMass Dartmouth, uh, we're convening our own cluster. If you look at our region from the Cape to the South Coast to Rhode Island, we have uh, an immense uh, density of Blue Tech related uh, companies and research assets. Uh, so on the Cape, you have uh, companies like Hydroid and Teledyne doing undersea defense. And on the South Coast, you have the nation's most profitable fishing port. Right now, we have offshore wind coming online in the South Coast. So you, we have two projects, both 800 megawatts. So those are the nation's first of scale uh, offshore wind projects. Uh, just two, about two weeks ago, we had uh, an announcement that Shell and a company uh, from Portugal are partnering for this next uh, this next development. So that's that's really big. That's going to be a, a jobs driver in the South Coast. And then as you get into Rhode Island, you have more undersea defense with the Naval uh, Undersea Warfare Center and Raytheon. And also you have expertise at URI. Uh, the goal of coming here, though, is to learn about how other regions have marshaled their resources uh, to be more competitive and but also to be more impactful as far as the sustainable development goals. So how can we take all the assets we have in our region and uh, work to address uh, climate change or sea level rise? Because these issues are going to impact uh, our economy no matter what. So we should definitely organize to do something about it. So I think just coming here and making it part of what we're doing. Um, we recently held a conference at UMass Dartmouth with 160 industry members and announced that that climate change is part of what we're doing, part of our resource research uh, part of what we're prioritizing. Uh, and it's also about making the investments in those parts of our research portfolio that can help address the goals. In our region, uh, both from the Cape to the South Coast and Rhode Island, there have been stubborn unemployment numbers, lower levels of educational attainment, higher levels of poverty. A lot of the innovation economy that Massachusetts is known for is based in Boston. And that's a lot of uh, the life sciences hub and funding that's going into that industry. However, if you look at our region's economy, both before the recession, uh, during the recession and after, our maritime and marine related economy was strong. And if you look into blue tech jobs, those are higher income jobs. So I think we've identified a real opportunity to drive economic prosperity in our region. And what's really important about it is now we have this goal to uh, align our institutions to make it easier for businesses to uh, locate uh, or start up in our region. And we're trying to do workforce development uh, and also just branding the region. Uh, Michael Jones, the uh, director of uh, the, Ma the uh, Maritime Alliance, talks about having a blue voice. And I think our region in southern New England is, is identifying and building that blue voice. Awesome. Great. Great. Thank, Thank you. you.